Hello everyone and welcome. Our footballing travels have taken us to the Midlands. We're at Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa up against Leeds United. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Patrick Bamford. Happy to take on the shot. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And over comes the corner. Well, no end product. He's taken on his opponent here. Ailing. Well, possibilities inside the box. Rafinha. Fine cross into the middle. Well, no problems defensively. Promising possession, this. Well, we know how troublesome he can be on the pitch, but what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, I'm sure he's going to score another goal today because he's got four in the last three games. He's a player full of confidence, and every time he makes a forward run, he looks as though he's going to get in behind. He's in outstanding form at the moment. Harrison. Well, attacking possibilities. Jack Harrison has it. Bamford. Excellent passing. Could be. And not cleared away properly. And putting his body on the line. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point. Because they're really looking dangerous at the moment. Excellent vision. Dinia. And teammates to play it to. Chance to finish. Oh dear, not really troubling the goalkeeper at all, Stuart. Well, from that range, he should be scoring, and he knows it. Harrison. Rafinha. Good tackle. Coutinho. Couldn't keep it. And flag raised, offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. Well read to put an end to that attack. Breaking at pace. Well, that pass easy on the eye. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Well, making high pressing work for them here. Will he play it in? Putting them under the cosh. What a big chance that was. Keeper has the ball. Harrison, superbly read and executed. Moving into the advanced position. And the ball's gone. For sure. Dallas here. And that's great work to keep it in play. Stuart Dallas. Well, he's lost it. 
Ramsey. It looks promising. There's a slide draw pass. And it's in! 1 0. They breach the defence. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. We certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, I'm sure the manager will be delighted with him. He'll have drilled it into them to keep their... The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Coming onto the pitch, number 11, Tyler Roberts. John McGinn. Esri Consa. It's with Douglas Luiz. High quality defending. Roberts. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. McGinn has a go flinging himself at it the keeper And they will make the change now. And over comes the corner. Cleared away comprehensively. Coutinho. Opportunity it is. And still a chance. And in the end, no damage done. Well, the stats confirm it. Leeds have had the lion's share of possession, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Perfectly positioned to take it away. And options in the centre. again cuts it back couldn't quite hang on able to clear the danger at least for now Ollie Watkins now he stopped them just when they looked menacing Rafinha Roberts and they continue to advance and a lot of options here A really sumptuous ball. High echelon goalkeeping there. And they're making a change. Who can he pick out? Not the result from the set piece they were looking for.
It's a neat move. And the referee says corner kick. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And there's the delivery. Attending to his defensive chores. Can they get in behind them? Spot on with that tackle. McGinn. Coutinho. Dinho. It's a good looking ball in behind. This could finish it. And in all likelihood, that is game over. So little time left for a response. Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Well, a second goal for them here. Bamford Mateusz Klich well on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today Stuart interested to get your take yeah clearly the better side obviously being fantastic up front but it's their work ethic for me they're just not happy unless they have the ball and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it it's been a really great performance all round Douglas Luiz. And the referee has decided to add on three additional minutes. And can he find someone at the far post? Well, when it left the boot, I thought it might have a chance of fooling the keeper, but it didn't. Ailing. So the final whistle and plenty of positives for Villa fans around the world following this victory. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Well, a fine performance, as we've come to expect from Leon Bailey. Stuart, I wonder what you made of his contribution. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?